The starter pulley assembly consists of the starter cup, the pawls, pawl springs, and pawl clips. It is threaded onto the engine's crankshaft. The springs hold the pawls against the recoil starter to turn the engine over when the starter rope is pulled. Once running, inertia pulls the pawls away from the starter. Over time, the pawls can wear down or even break off. The starter pulley assembly is a fast and easy way to repair the complete assembly. Replacing the starter pulley assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the upper motor cover. Now I can remove the starter. Now I can remove the starter pulley assembly. To do that, I'll first need to remove the spark plug. If I try to unscrew the pulley cup, it'll just rotate the engine over. So to avoid that, I'll take a small piece of rope and insert it through the spark plug hole. This will fill the space between the top of the combustion chamber and the piston. That'll bind up the piston so the engine can't rotate over. and I'll use a pair of adjustable pliers to remove it. Now I can install the new starter pulley assembly. I'll thread it onto the crankshaft. and again use the adjustable pliers to tighten it. Now I can remove the rope from the cylinder and reinstall the spark plug. Now I can reinstall the starter. I'll align the starter with the starter cup. and begin securing it with the screws. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the motor cover. And that's how you can install a new starter pulley assembly in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.